Hello everyone, my name is Tom and today I will present my report on the first project of the data science internship program that is provided by OSIN. So um, let's talk about the project's description. So the goal for the project is to have a statistical report capturing live data for stock prices of some of the major US companies. For this Particularly uh, in this data set, I have absorbed Microsoft, Tesla, and Apple stock data set that is from 2028 to, uh, 2018 to, to, to 2023. And I will also need to look at the SP500 um, data set, which is the stock market index, indicating the stock performance of 500 large companies, including Microsoft. Tesla and Apple. So let's first look at the descriptive test statistics table that I have provided here. Um, so as we can see here, um, so by looking at this, we can know that Microsoft is currently had the highest um, stock and Apple got the lowest stock um, in, all, in, in the owner pool. And Tesla is more vo vo volatile than the others because due to the fact that it has a very high um, standard de deviation here. You can also look at this plot that I have provided here to know um, the value of mean, median, and mode of, of each of the companies. Um, you can see that Microsoft had a, a very high mm, average stock price compared to the other two. So uh, you can also look at here to see the range of the Tesla stock is really high. So it's so Tesla might uh, is likely to have a very um, very fluctuated stock performance. Um, to get to know more about the stock performance um, throughout the period, we can uh, have a live plot here. So but when looking at the live plot here, we can you know generally the, the trend of all of stocks over time is primarily uh, increasing and skewed to the right. Um, and Tesla is the, the orange line here, uh, has been uh, having the rapid fluctuations since 2020. And um, Microsoft and, and Apple are highly correlated and um, are sta stably increasing their stock throughout the period. So next, let's move on to the linear regressions models. So we are comparing, um, we are comparing the data set um, of each of the company to the SP500 data set. So we can uh, evaluate the risk performance of, uh, of the um, three companies. So when we um, so so when we perform a linear regressions on the, the three companies, we will resource as these data values. So with the higher data values that indicate the higher risk in the stock performance of that companies. So when we look at that here, the Microsoft is currently have the, the slope of um, 0 0.5 almost 0 0.5, um, which is the highest of all the three. So Microsoft is currently have the high riskiest performance compared to the other, compared to the others. Um, so looking at Apple lightning regression uh, model here, we can see that the slope of Apple is 0 0.4, which is, um, which is also really, um, high compared to Tesla. So we can say that Apple and, and Apple, Apple and Microsoft here are, are having the high data values, which have riskier performance than Tesla. Um, therefore, they will, they are more likely to have um, higher returns in the market. So, um, so let's jump to the uh, conclusion on the three companies are generally having an increasing trend in the stock performance. 
but um, with a with the high standard deviation, Tesla is now the most uh, volatile and has so many fluctu fluctuations throughout the period. Um, Microsoft and uh, Apple have a higher risk of returns in the market uh, because of the high data values uh, when comparing to when, when doing the lightning regression with the SP500 uh, data set. And uh, they, they are, uh, they are uh, stable, uh, stably increasing in their stock throughout the period as well. Um, there is a high correlation between Microsoft and Apple stocks performance as well. So um, that's it for the report, uh, for my first report. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. See you later on.